Welcome to our fascial fix for calf pain. The calves are weight bearing structures and they quite often can become tight and then painful. This can be due to overuse activities, so whether it's weight training, running, walking, or even standing for too long. As this happens, the fascia starts to become restricted and this can lead to pain that you might feel in your calf or further downstream in your Achilles tendon or even in your feet. So plantar fasciitis can be caused by tightness in your calves, for example. In this video, we share some simple self-help myofascial exercises that help to release some of the restrictions in your calves and can help to reduce pain and restriction in your Achilles tendon and feet. In this exercise, we're going to do a stretch for the back of the legs. To do this, you can use a step. I'm going to use this exercise step here, but at home you could use your staircase or an outside step. So stand on the step with your feet hanging off the back of the step and then just allow your heels to drop down. It's a good idea to have yourself supported either by the wall, for example in my case, or by your banister so that you don't feel that you're losing your balance while you do this. So you can also do this with shoes on. It doesn't have to be with bare feet and many people find it's much easier if they do this with their shoes on. The main thing is to allow your legs to go heavy so that you can feel your heels dropping down. And this will start to create a stretch in the back line of your body. So going all the way from the soles of your feet, round your heels, up into your ankles, your calves, backs of your knees, backs of your thighs, and even up into your glutes here. This is a great stretch to do for anybody who has any issues with the back of their legs. So for example, anybody who's had a thigh strain, people with knee problems, people with tight calves and calf pain, if you've had an injury to your calf or to your Achilles tendon, and people who have plantar fasciitis, so pain in the soles of their feet. For many people, plantar fasciitis is actually caused by tension in their calves and their hamstrings, but it is felt in their feet. So this is a good way of stretching everything out. If you'd like a deeper stretch, then you can stretch one leg at a time. So to do this, keep one leg straight and bend the other knee. And this will drop your weight into the straight leg and you'll feel more of a stretch coming down into the back of this leg. So as with all my fascial stretches, as long as you're here for at least a couple of minutes, then it will be allowing time for the fascia, the muscles, the tissues to be starting to release and let go. And you can feel what the stretch is doing, so you can vary the depth of stretch, particularly if you're doing this with just one leg at a time. And you can swap to the other leg once you've done at least a couple of minutes on one side. Or if this feels too much for you, you just stretch both legs at the same time. In this exercise, I'm going to use two myofascial balls to work on my hamstrings. The easiest way to do this is either seated or lying. So I'm going to start as a seated exercise and just straighten my legs out, place the balls under my hamstrings. So this can be anywhere from just by your gluteal crease, which is right at the top of your hamstrings, to anywhere down to just above your knees. And when you're here, just allow the tissues to start to relax around the balls. 
And you can either do this seated on the floor if it's comfortable for you or seated on your bed or on a chair, whichever works for you. The hamstrings are a group of muscles that extend from just below your knees up to your pelvis. They attach into the sitting bones which are part of your pelvis. Sometimes if your hamstrings are too tight, they can pull your pelvis backwards and create what's called a posterior tilt. And that can affect the front of your body as well, making a lot of tightness here in the front or in front of your hips. They can also contribute to lower back pain when they're tight and they can contribute to pain lower down in your calves and your feet. So releasing your hamstrings is a really good way of helping to rebalance your body by rebalancing your pelvis in particular. Hamstrings can become injured or damaged, particularly through sports. And so this is a good way of just starting to help to release some of the restrictions that may have formed in your hamstrings. And as long as you're in one place for at least a couple of minutes, then that will allow time for the fascia to start to release and let go. And then you can move the balls to a different position. You can also do this exercise as a lying exercise and I'll just show you that next. So to lie on your hamstrings with the balls, just lie on your back on the floor or on your bed and place the balls underneath your hamstrings. And while you're here, again, just waiting for a sense of the tissues starting to release and let go. And as ever with any of my fascial exercises, as long as you're here for a couple of minutes, that's allowing time for the fascia to start to release. And you may notice changes in the tissues, that things feel softer. You may notice pain and other sensations in other parts of your body, so for example, into your back or down into your calves. And so whatever you're feeling, that's fine. That's just your tissues starting to release. So whichever version works best for you, whether it's seated or lying, it doesn't matter. As long as you're allowing the tissues a couple of minutes in each spot so that the fascia has time to release and let go. In this exercise, I'm going to use my fascial ball to work on my calf. And actually, I'm going to use two together because that's sometimes easier, although you have the option to do either. The easiest way to use a myofascial ball on your calf is by sitting on the floor. So you can have your back against a wall like I have, or maybe a, your back against a sofa, whatever is comfortable for you. So if you straighten your legs out, then place the ball under your calf or two balls, one under each calf. So while you're here, just allow a few seconds for your tissues to start to relax around the balls. At first, it may feel a little bit wobbly as you balance on the balls particularly if your calves are a bit tight. But as you wait, you'll find that the tissues will start to relax and you'll get a sense of them softening around the balls. The calves are weight-bearing structures in the body and this means that they have a lot of very thick and strong fascial tissue they have fascial compartments which contain the muscles and these help to work the muscles. It helps to pump blood and other fluids back out of your legs, which either could get stuck there as a result of gravity. And also they help to support your body. So sometimes your calves can get quite tight. And this can be due to maybe 
exercise, particularly if you're doing weight bearing exercise or lots of walking or running. And when they get tight, this restricts those fascial compartments and it can start to create pain that you may feel in the calves themselves. But also very commonly, the pain can travel down from your calves, down through your heels and into the soles of your feet. So actually tight calves are a major cause of plantar fasciitis, which you feel in your feet. So it always helps to work on your calves if you have any pain that you feel in your feet or in your heels. Likewise, sometimes tightness in your calves can be linked to tightness in your hamstrings and even up into your lower back. So they're always a good area to work on. Uh, particularly for most people, there will be some level of tightness in their calves. Now you need to just be in any position where you've got the balls for at least a couple of minutes and this allows time for the fascia to start to release and let go. And you may notice different sensations as the tissues are softening and releasing. And if you like, you can move the ball or the balls to other parts of your calves, so perhaps further down. So you can spend some time here working on your calves, anywhere from just below your knees to down above your ankles. So for each place that you put the balls, just remembering to be there for at least a couple of minutes. And this allows time for the fascia to release and start to let go.